Well, good afternoon. Happy Friday to you. Thank you for taking just a couple moments uh, to check in with the life of your church this week at St. Paul's United Methodist Church. I wanted to take just a couple seconds to thank um, some people that really made last Sunday what it turned out to be. An incredible time of worship, an incredible time of uh, breaking bread and having a picnic on the grounds and sharing fellowship and playing and really enjoying which on, one another's company last week. The following people really did a lot of the, the heavy lifting, and I, I want to lift their names up to you so that you can be sure to thank them when you see them. Um, Eric and Malia Nelson, um, Pam and Dyer Michelle, um, Beth McCall, Amber and Will Gellner, uh, Kevin and Veronica Lopez, thank you for securing some games for the kids to play and having that all out there. Crystal Curland, who helped with so many things behind the scenes. Adela and Belva Fleming, who helped with decorations along with um, Amber Gellner and some others. Uh, Beth McCall. Kathy and Larry Hennikins for helping us uh, with logistics. Um, and we had some folks that stuck around afterwards and, and pitched in to help make sure things were picked up and cleaned up and things were put back the way they needed to be. Uh, Pamela, Rob, and Maggie McLean, thank you so much. Uh, Melinda and Paul Duby, thank you for sticking around and making sure that things were put away. Uh, we couldn't have done it without those folks. So make me sure to thank them. And the rest of you all, man, so many. Um, contributed by bringing a dish. Uh, we had leftover food, and we were so grateful that we were able to meet that need. So thank you, the rest of us who pitched in and made sure that that picnic was a success. Uh, last Sunday, we were able to welcome some folks into our family of faith. I just want to remind you of their names so you continue to be on the lookout for them, introduce yourself to them. If you happen to miss worship last Sunday, please go back, and whether it's on YouTube or on the Facebook stream, and watch the last probably five or ten minutes. You'll see me having the joy of introducing them and welcoming them into membership. Uh, Christine Keeling, uh, Jennifer Jackson, John and Sharon Baratini, and uh, of course the Knight family, uh, Nan, Layton, and Elise. And so we're I'm so grateful that you were able to welcome them into the family of faith here at St. Paul's. All right. Um, just a reminder, two quick things before uh, you turn me off. Uh, we want you to worship. We look forward to being together this Sunday at 10.30 a.m., whether that be in person or if you're joining us online, we can't wait to be with you. Uh, but I want to direct your attention, if you have not yet, if you have not let us know that you're coming and you're going to be a part of Trunk or Treat, which will happen a week from tomorrow, a week from Saturday, we desperately need to know that you're coming. We encourage you to come. Right now, we only have 13, yes, only 13 trunks uh, that have committed, uh, families that have committed to be there. We would love to have around 20. That, that's going to take about seven more. Um, I'm told that if you need help with decorating, you can reach out to the preschool. Um, Kelly has told us she's got some extra decorations in the preschool that we can use, as well as Veronica Lopez has told us that she's got some as well. Reach out to one of them or reach out to the church office um, if you want help. We really need a couple more trunks. We would love to get to 20. That would be incredible. We're going to have some inflatables there for the kids and bounce houses and, and stuff that we can actually uh, put on a great event for those, um, gosh, hundreds of kids that we're going to see next Saturday afternoon. Please make plans to be there. Uh, it is so important to us uh, and, the, and the vitality and the life of our church that we do things like this, that we welcome our neighbors and we get to know them and they get to know us. We desperately want you to be there. Uh, to be neighbors uh, at Trunk or Treat next Saturday afternoon, all right? If you've got any questions about that, you can comment here. You can reach out to us. We would love to talk to you more about it, um, but it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful weekend next Saturday, and we don't want you to miss it, all right? Grace and peace. I cannot wait to be with you this Sunday, 10.30 a.m. Um, at St. Paul's UMC. Have a great weekend.